Hello everyone. Now the topic for discussion is soldering and welding in orthodontics. What soldering? Soldering is actually joining of two metals by the use of a filler material. This filler material helps to join the two metals and the fu fusion temperature of this filler material is less when compared to the uh, fusion temperature of the metals being joined. The fusion temperature is usually less than 450 degrees Celsius. If it is more than 450 degrees Celsius then it is usually called as brazing. Now what are the dental solders? The dental solders are the actual materials which help to fuse the two metals together. Now these dental solders, various types of dental solders can be used. It can be gold, silver, copper, tin, zinc, etc. There should be certain ideal requirements of these solders. First, it should be biocompatible. The solder which is used should be biocompatible inside the oral cavity. It should not undergo tarnation corrosion with time. It should easily join the two metals which are, which are supposed to be joined. Its fusion temperature must be less when compared to the fusion temperature of the metals being joined. Because if its fusion temperature is high, then before it melts, the metals which are supposed to be joined will melt. So its fusion temperature must be less when compared to the fusion temperature of the metals which are being joined. Next, the dental solders must be free, freely flowable. It should flow very easily and should produce a very good joint. Next, its color should match with that of the color of the adjacent metal. What is flux? Flux is actually a Latin term which means flow. Various types of flux materials are used like borax, boric acid, silica. Now, the metals which are supposed to be joined on either side of it is flux is applied. This flux will help to will, will help the solder material to flow over the metal parts so that they can easily be joined. What is an anti-flux? Excess of flux should not be uh, applied. Even excess flow of the solder material should be prevented also. So anti-flux should be avoided which will prevent the excess flow of the solder material. Anti-flux is uh, graphite, lead pencil markings. These are done so as to prevent the excess material to flow. What are the various types of soldering? It, there are two types. It can be investment soldering. It can be freehand soldering. What is investment soldering? It is usually uh, used in cases where the joint area is very large. It, the metals are invested on the investment machine and are separated by a 0.13 mm of gap and investment soldering is used. Freehand soldering is the soldering which we usually use in our routine practice, particularly in orthodontics also it is most commonly used. This is a solder we can, a machine we can see. With the help of this we can do freehand soldering. And this is a soldered crib we can see. How the tongue crib is soldered onto the metal molar bands. What are the various steps in soldering? First, cleaning of the surfaces to, to be joined. The A metals which are supposed to be joined should be properly cleaned. If they are not cleaned properly, then, then it will prevent the proper flow of the material. Assembling the parts to be joined. The parts or the metals which are supposed to be joined should be properly assembled and it should be placed with the, accurately with the help of sticky wax. Selecting the right solder and flux. Selection of a proper joint. Then application of the flux. Then heating and introduction of solder. And finally quenching. Uh, once the solder joint is ready, it should be immediately quenched in water so as to prevent excess spread of heat. There are certain practical considerations while doing soldering. Although it is very simple procedure, but there are certain considerations. Like we should use, reduce, we should use reducing zone of the flame. Second, we should not apply excessive flux. We should use cotton uh, swabs, wet cotton swabs so as to prevent the excessive spread of heat. Next, and the solder joint should not be over polished because if the solder joint is over polished, it will result in weakening of the joint. Next is applications of soldering. As I've already showed you the figure, it is used for various purposes like for soldering crib, crib uh, onto the molar bands, apart from the attachment of various attachments. So uh, various types of appliances can be con constructed by using soldering. Next is welding in orthodontics. What is the principle of spot welding? Actually. Welding actually means directly fusing of two metals without the use of an intermediary filler material. This is actually achieved directly by the use of heat and pressure. The principle is heat and pressure are the two principles on which the welding works. It actually makes use of an electric current. The electric current is allowed to pass through step down transformer which gets converted into low voltage and high amperage current. This current is allowed to pass through two copper electrodes which are present in the welder and these then this electric current generates a heat. This heat heats up the metals and finally melts them so that they automatically gets attached with each other. What is the procedure of spot welding? And this is the uh, spot welder. It consists of two copper electrodes which are present uh, in contact with each other. 
the two metals which are supposed to be joined are placed in these uh, copper electrodes and the copper electrodes are approximately when the switch is on electric current passes through this spot welder it's get converted to uh, low voltage and high amperage current when this current reaches the copper electrode it generates heat this heat melts the metals and automatically joins them next is what is the application of welding a number of applications in welding is there like in this diagram we can see how molar tubes are welded onto the molar bands apart from this for uh, fixing attachments like lingual sheets for uh, attaching lingual attachments many uh, uses of welding is there in orthodontics next is acrylization predominant part or the portion of the removable and functional appliances actually consists of acrylic base plate now this acrylic base plate not only helps in proper positioning of all the component wire components of the appliance but also acts as a source for anchorage two types of acrylization is most commonly used heat cure acrylic resins and cold cure acrylic resins heat cure acrylic resins are not more com most commonly used in orthodontics it is most commonly used in prosthodontics we most commonly in orthodontics use cold cure acrylic resins acrylization using cold cure acrylic resins actually is done in following steps first is pre treatment of the cast is done the cast on which we are we are planning to uh, uh, prepare this acrylic base plate is first pre treated pre treatment means it has it is first inspected to uh, for the presence of any nodules any uh, cracks etc it's first properly corrected then after that it is soaked in water for at least 10 to 15 minutes why the soaking is done the soaking in water is done so as to prevent excess absorption of the monomer by the dry cast after the application of cold mold seal it is nothing but a separating medium which is applied all over the area which uh, on which we are going to make the acrylic base plate after the stabilization of wire components the wire components are properly stabilized by the use of sticky wax and then finally acrylization is done this acrylization can be done by two methods salt and pepper method and next is single mix method in salt and pepper method both monomer and polymer are sprinkled alternate alternately this is very time consuming procedure and what plate which is developed is also will have porosities and is not uniform another is single mix method in single mix method we usually mix the monomer and the polymer over the glass slab and then when it is at a dust stage we adapt it all over the area of the cast excess is removed with the help of lacquer and scarver then curing in the pressure pot this is followed by then curing in the pressure pot it is placed in the pressure pot which consists of compressed air at least for uh, 10 minutes if this is not available we can even place it in the hot water for at least 20 minutes finally trimming and polishing is done apart from this another category is acrylization by using thermoplastic sheets even nowadays thermoplastic sheets are available these thermoplastic sheets um, can directly be adapted over the cast and then they can be placed under the vacuum and uh, for specified amount of time and with this it is less time consuming and readily thermoplastic sheets are available this was about acrylization